Hey everybody, it's Chris Eads, known online as Woo Teeny, here with another one of my Gay Gamer video podcasts. Uh, there's a lot to talk about this week, so we're just going to jump right in and start with the return of my drifting Joy-Con for my Switch. Um, as you might recall from the past couple episodes, I sent it in for repair, because they are Nintendo is repairing drifting Joy-Cons for free, because it's such a widespread problem, even if you are no longer under warranty, they will fix it for free. So I was like, I don't know how long that's going to last, let me take advantage of it. Also, I want it fixed before Dragon Quest comes out. So I sent it in, and as I had said before, the site doesn't really update, but then they sent emails, so that was good. Um, and they said that it would be coming back to me on Tuesday. Then on Sunday night, though, it said Monday. So I said, oh, okay, so it is originally, because it originally said Monday, then they said Tuesday, then it changed back to Monday, so I'm like, okay. So, like, Monday afternoon at, like, 12, 12.30, I was like, let me just see if it's out for delivery. Uh, so I checked the UPS tracking number, and they're like, oh, yeah, we delivered that at, like, 10.41 this morning. And I'm just like, wait, what? So I'm at work, so I text my husband. I was like, hey, can you go downstairs and see if my UPS package is there? And he's like, hang on a second. He goes downstairs and reports back that, no, it's nowhere to be found. It said they left it at the front door, which is not a good idea in the city because it's a stoop and it's right there and people will walk by and just take it. Um, so it wasn't on the steps, it wasn't hidden underneath, it wasn't inside the house, somebody else took it in or it wasn't hidden behind the garbage cans, like he looked everywhere for it, saw nothing. So I was like, dink. So I have to call UPS customer service, which was annoying because they just want you to go through their menu and there's no... I tried to skip to operator, I'm like, operator, and they're like, we'd love to connect you to an agent, but first, tell us what the thing, and I'm just like, oh my god, just give me a person, because none of these options are what I want. So I had to basically track the package, and then they're like, yeah, we delivered it, and then I had to say, I don't have my package, my package is missing, or whatever, and they were like, okay, would you like to speak to an agent? I'm like, god, yes, that's all I've wanted to do this whole time. Not like there's anything UPS can do about it, the best she could do was say, okay, well, she confirmed the address was correct, um, and then said that they would call the dispatch so that they could find out from the driver, like, what he did with the package. And that's the best they can do. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? Because, like, if you order something from Amazon and it goes missing, you can just tell Amazon and they'll send you another one. But this was a repair, so I'm like, if I tell Nintendo that their return of my repair got lost, will they send me another one? I mean, it wasn't mine to begin with, because mine went to Syracuse, but this one came from Seattle. So, they were just sending me a refurbished Joy-Con anyway. So I'm like... And, um, sure enough, um, I never heard back from... I didn't hear back from UPS all afternoon. Um, I went to lunch, tried to get back to work, and it was just niggling in the back of my head. And then my husband texts me later in the day and is like, I have it. And he took a picture of it in his hand. And I was like, where was it? He's like, I went to leave the house, and it was sitting on the front steps. And it wasn't there half an hour ago when I went out. So, like, it wasn't there half an hour ago when he answered the door for somebody else. And it wasn't there at 10.41, and it wasn't there at 12.30 when he checked. Um, somehow, like, four hours after they said it was supposed to be there, it suddenly appeared. So it's like a time-traveling UPS package, I guess. I don't even know. And then another hour or two later, UPS called me back and was like, hey, have you received your package. I was like, yeah, he found it four hours after it was supposed to have been delivered. And they're like, okay, good. And I was like, don't apologize or anything for screwing everything up and getting everything wrong, but whatever. Long story short, except not, um, I can't tell any short stories. Um, I got my Joy-Con, and I'm like, I'm basically at this point expecting it to still be drifting, but I plugged it into my Switch, turned it on, Everything is glorious, navigating menus is the way it should be, playing the game is fine, everything is wonderful, and it works great. The only question is, now we see how long this will last before it starts drifting again. I give it eight months, on average. Uh, we'll see. Um, so, because I don't remember when it started drifting, versus when I bought my Switch at launch. So, I don't remember when it started drifting, so I never actually tried to figure out that timeline. But, uh... I'm hoping that maybe they did something and added some layer of protection so that the grit can't get in and, like, make it drift again, but I don't know. I'm not technically minded. I'm not taking it apart to find out either. So, um, 
I'm playing Dragon Quest again. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to stretch this till the 27th. Um, I wish I could, but I feel like I'm bumping up against the end of this demo. Because um, I actually went and looked online to see like how long this demo actually is, and there are, people were like, okay, the demo ends when you leave for this other area. And I'm like, okay, so it's the Heliodor area is like, that first area is the entire demo. And then when you leave to go to the next area for the next chapter of the story, um, that'll be the full game. Uh, so I'm playing and I'm like, okay, well, I want to take my time before I go to that area. And I just got an item called the Keystone that I'm supposed to use on this East Gate. Uh, and I'm like, okay, clearly using the Keystone on the East Gate is going to take me to this next area uh, and end the demo. So I need to take my time and not use that Keystone until the 26th. But um, there isn't a lot left to do. Um, I just have to go help Eric look for his orb. Uh, I don't know if we'll find it or not, but there's that adventure, and I don't know how long that section will take. Um, but I can't have more than a couple hours left in this demo, and now that I can play portably, I will be playing portably, and that's going to be a problem. So I don't think I'm going to be able to stretch this anymore. But uh, I will drag it out as long as I can, and uh, I look forward to playing it on the 27th, and having Dragon Quest take over my life. Uh, it's why I have not bought any new games, like the Link's Awakening remake comes out on the 20th, and I was like, ooh, that's exciting, and then they were like, also, Dragon Quest XI on the 27th, and I'm like, goodbye, Link's Awakening, that's not gonna happen, because I'm not gonna play it for a week and then set it aside to play Dragon Quest, because I ain't waiting to play Dragon Quest, I've been waiting too long, so uh, no games until Dragon Quest. Uh, and then nothing for a while, because I'll be playing Dragon Quest for a while. Um, but I have discovered now that I am actually going to be buying a new game in October. Um, after the last Direct, Nintendo released a video of a bunch of people playing some kind of Switch game with this big ring, and they were wiggling it around and waving it around and stuff and squeezing it, and um, I w they're like, come back later and find out what this is all about. And I'm like, oh, this looks like a fitness game. That was just my I impression. And sure enough, they have just announced Ring Fit Adventure, which is basically a like adventure RPG game uh, where you do exercises to fight the enemies. Um, it's bizarre. It's weird. It looks like utter nonsense. You look ridiculous when you're playing it. But that's Nintendo. They like to do these weird things, and if you have watched any of my older video podcasts from back in the day, and if you remember my articles on GayGamer.net, you know I'm all about the fitness games. Um, I lost a lot of weight with Wii Fit, and uh, unfortunately, as you may have noticed if you are a longtime viewer of these uh, podcasts, I've put a lot of it back on. Um, so, I could stand to lose a bunch of pounds, and I've actually been thinking of getting that Switch boxing game that came out, uh, just because Wii Fit just, I keep trying to use Wii Fit, but it's so old and familiar, and I just, I need to change it up, I need something new. Um, so I was thinking of getting that Switch boxing game, but I never did, and now I'm not going to because I'm going to get Ring Fit Adventure, um, because it's exactly the kind of thing I like, because I like games that kind of trick you into exercising. Um, you basically strap one controller around your leg, and then you put the other controller in the ring, and then you literally run in place to run through the level, and then use the ring to, like, capture coins or to jump. You push down to jump, and you swing it around and whatever. Um, and, like, you battle enemies, and you have to actually do exercises, like you're doing lunges or sit-ups to, like, damage the enemies. And it's like, okay, this is completely bizarre, but you're going to be working out as you try to defeat the enemies and get through the game and beat levels and stuff, so, like, that's perfect. There is also a party mode if you want to um, all play with your friends and look ridiculous together. Um, that could be fun with some alcohol involved. 
Then there's the exercise mode where you're literally just doing exercises, but which is fine, and I'm sure I'll use that, but I prefer the section where you're playing the game because it's tricking you into doing exercises and physical movement. Um, those are the kind of games I love, like Beat Saber. Swinging those swords around in VR, you're trying to beat your high score and beat that song and trying again and again, and then the next thing you know, you've been doing it for a half hour, 45 minutes, and you're dripping in sweat, and the next day your arms are really sore. Um, or, like, one of my favorite games is Dance Central, and I actually recently got my Kinect back from my friend who had borrowed it, and I plugged it into my 360, because in the bedroom I have a lot of space in which to dance, so I set up the Kinect, and I was correct. I have a nice, good dance area. Um, and I had forgotten how much fun the original Dance Central dancing was. Um, Spotlight is good, and I actually prefer Spotlight's fitness mode because you say how long you want to work out, and you pick, like, I want aerobics, I want strength, I want a regular dance routine, whatever, and then it just randomly gives you songs and routines, and it's great. And there's, like, very little stop time in between songs. Um, so that's great, but... The dancing in Dance Central Spotlight was not as good as the dancing in the original Dance Central games because those dances were actually choreographed by choreographers and they actually work with the songs and you feel like you're really dancing, you know, which is great. So I've been playing some of that and it's a lot of fun and you break a sweat and I like that. Um, so I am looking forward to Ring Fit Adventure. I have already pre-ordered my copy at Best Buy. Uh, because I still have a little bit of time left on my Gamers Club discount, uh, because Best Buy has canceled their Gamers Club, and that sucks, but I had already re renewed for, like, another two years, and then they canceled it, so I still had, like, a year or so left before it disappears. Like, you can't join now, but anyone who's still a member can use their discount until it expires. And mine expires in the middle of October. So I sat down, and as soon as it came up, like, it wasn't there the first day, but the second day, it was there, I pre-ordered my copy, I paid in full, I got my 20% discount, it's probably the last time I'll use it because I don't think there's anything else coming out, and like I said, I'm not buying any new games, so all I'm doing is waiting for Dragon Quest. Um, however, uh, I did actually pick up, in, while I'm killing time waiting for Dragon Quest and not playing the Dragon Quest demo all the time because I don't want to rush through it, um, I actually booted up. Assassin's Creed Odyssey for the first time in a while, because Ubisoft released the Discovery Tour, uh, which I have been waiting for. Um, I had heard about it back with Assassin's Creed Origins, um, and I was like, ooh, that's interesting. Like, you can tour ancient Egypt without playing the game and being in danger and having to fight. You can just explore and enjoy the scenery, which is super awesome. And they'll educate you on ancient Egypt, and you go on tours, and you can learn things, and it's great. And I was like, that's so cool. But I never actually picked that one up. I should. And at some point, maybe I'll have some free time and I'll pick it up. But I have so many games that I haven't even touched yet that I'm like, uh. So, I don't know. But they released this one. And I'm like, well, I've got this. Let me explore ancient, ancient Greece uh, while I'm waiting for Dragon Quest. And um, it's great. It's exactly what I want it to be. You literally can just walk through the whole game. And there's no animals to kill you, there's no enemies, bandits to kill you. It's just la la la, and you just walk around and relax, and you learn things and explore and see the sights uh, and take beautiful pictures. Um, but you, you pick a character. Um, unfortunately, it's like full armor Alexios or full armor Cassandra. There's a few variations of armor, like you can get the hunter one or whatever, but like it's full armor, and it's like... I'd like to just walk around casually. There is a generic Athenian male and woman that you can uh, walk around as, but I haven't unlocked those yet. As you do tours and discover things, it unlocks more and more characters that you can then play as. Um, although I did unlock the uh, Anya, Aya, something, Arya, I don't remember her name, but the woman who's the the present day slash future uh, archaeologist who is using the Animus to go back to explore ancient Egypt as Alexios or Cassandra. Um, and then when I unlocked her, I was like, oh, that's fine. I'll just be her. And then walk around, and she's wearing casual clothes, but now she can explore ancient Egypt the way she wants to. Um, 
so that's fine. Um, although, I've also been using the first person mode, because first person mode is even more immersive, and you walk around and look around and just feel like you're in ancient Egypt, or ancient Greece, sorry. And it's, it's fantastic. And um, the only thing that would be better is if they had a PSVR add-on so that you could do it in VR. Um, but it's great, and I've been having some fun doing the different tours and exploring the city and learning about the culture and like arts and entertainment or learning about Athens history and how it was built and what this building is, what that building is, and all that sort of thing. Um, none of it's gonna like stick. Like at the end of each tour, they give you a like four question quiz, and the first one I aced, and I was like, this is easy. The next tour I went on at the end, I got like every single question wrong. It was like. And if you get the wrong answer, they're like, no, try again. And, like, I kept trying, and I'd get it wrong again and again, and then I'm like, well, this is the only answer left, so it has to be right. Um, but it's still fun to explore, and if you have Assassin's Creed Odyssey and haven't checked it out, you should, because it's free download. Um, I don't know when it downloaded, because I booted up the game and expected to see it downloading an update, but it didn't download any updates. There was an update for it, like, I don't know, like, a few weeks ago or something. And so I thought, well, maybe I have to go and, like, buy it from the store. It's free. Uh, but when I booted up the game, it was just there in the menu option. So I was like, cool, Discovery Tour, done. Um, so uh, I've been playing that to kill time. Uh, I have also been playing some No Man's Sky, just because I can't not. And that's always going to be something that I put on to relax with periodically, because it's, you know, stress-free. Although so is Discovery Tour, so. Uh, so that's it. Cutting it off now. Uh, that's all I want to talk about this week. And uh, I'll see you back here next time. And I'll talk about some more stuff. And I don't know what it'll be. So come back and find out. Bye!